Greetings, knowledge seekers. Since humans began to acquire intelligence, many truths and falsehoods have been told. In school, although most of what we learn is true, there are many other things that are false, perhaps due to lack of information at the time or because teachers failed to convey that knowledge correctly. As a result, we have been carrying many misconceptions for decades and centuries. Today, we will look at 20 misconceptions about astronomy and science that many still believe. Some may surprise you, as a lie repeated over and over becomes an absolute truth. So let's begin. There is no gravity in space. It has often been said that there is zero gravity in space or microgravity, but this is just a way of describing our sensations. The space station orbits Earth at 7.66 kilometers per second at about 400 kilometers in altitude. At that speed, the station is constantly falling towards Earth while adapting to its curvature. So astronauts experience the feeling of floating as if in free fall. Everybody in the universe has gravity, and this attraction is directly proportional to its mass and decreases with distance according to Newton's law. The more mass an object has, the more gravity it has. In space, there is always gravity, no matter how small. We also have gravity. A person weighing 154 pounds will attract someone weighing 110 pounds, for example, although that attraction is negligible. Moreover, Earth's gravity is much stronger. We never went to the moon. This is another popular misconception that has been circulating for decades. There is no conspiracy. There is a wealth of evidence from the Apollo missions, including mirrors on the moon for scientific measurements and lunar rocks, more than 400,000 people worked on bringing astronauts to the moon in the six missions to our satellite, and several of the companies involved were independent of NASA. Although it may be hard to believe, 12 men actually walked on the moon between 1969 and 1972. A day lasts 24 hours. We claim that an Earth day lasts 24 hours, but this is not true. The Earth actually rotates on its axis in 23 hours and 56 minutes. This system is far from perfect, and we inherited it from the Egyptian civilization, which divided time into two 12-hour blocks, one for day and one for night. It's an improved system inherited from the Sumerians. Our calendar is adapted to the direction where the sun is each day and not to the rotation of our planet on its axis. The important thing is that every day at noon the sun is at its highest point. So we don't measure the Earth day, we measure the moment of the sun. To compensate for the time lag, we add leap years. We invented the calendar in this inaccurate way, rounding figures using the sun as a reference to avoid going crazy. And we don't want to change it, because that change would be extremely costly. We evolved from monkeys. It's often said that humans come from monkeys, and this is another widespread misconception. We don't come directly from any ancestor of today's chimpanzees and gorillas. Humans come from hominids, which is a family of primates that walked upright and whose characteristic was the development of hands. About 7 million years ago, today's monkeys came from the same ancestors as hominids, but each branch took different paths in evolution. We are indeed close relatives of chimpanzees and gorillas, with whom we share a common ancestor. But we have not evolved from them. Hominids took different paths in their evolution until the genus Homo appeared about 2.5 million years ago, which began to use tools and showed the first signs of intelligence. All species of the genus Homo became extinct. Currently, only Homo sapiens is still alive. The Great Wall of China can be seen from space. Another big lie we've always been led to believe is that the Great Wall of China is so large that it can be seen from space. The Great Wall of China was built in the 5th century BCE in an era of savagery and has remained as a tourist attraction. It cannot be seen from space, and although it has a length of 4,536 miles, it is very narrow, less than 20 feet wide and has a color that blends easily with the landscape. Roads and bridges are easier to see. Even the pyramids of Giza can be seen from space due to their enormous size. The solar system consists of nine planets and the sun. Many people still believe that the solar system consists of nine planets and the sun. It's true that Pluto was later removed and we were left with eight, but the result is the same. The solar system is not just the planets and the sun. The solar system measures a total of 100,000 astronomical units more than one light year from the Sun, and extends beyond the Kuiper Belt, where Pluto is located. There is much more space where we find other minor bodies until we reach the Oort Cloud, about 2,000 astronomical units away, where there are many icy bodies from the formation of the solar system. The end of the cloud is really the end of the solar system. An apple fell on Newton's head, 
Another myth is that an apple fell on Isaac Newton's head and then his brain lit up with the law of gravity. Newton never indicated in his writings that he had received an apple to the head. In fact, he spent many years solving his theories of gravity, and there is no evidence of that event. We only have references from indirect authors who referred to Newton's apple, even without any recorded evidence. Today, the tree that gave rise to the story still exists and is called the Woolsthorpe Manor apple tree, and it is protected. It produces a very peculiar variety of apple with an acidic taste. We would explode in space. One of the big lies that has been fed by sensationalist science fiction cinema is that if you take off your spacesuit in space, you swell up like a balloon and explode. The reality is very different. If you take off your spacesuit in 15 seconds, you would lose consciousness because your lungs would collapse due to the lack of air pressure. And although your body could swell more due to lack of pressure, your skin and circulatory system would prevent an explosive decompression. Depending on whether it happens in the shade or in the sun, you could cook, freeze, and suffocate in less than a minute, ending up as a petrified and dry mummy floating in the void. The full moon affects behavior. There is no evidence that the full moon affects people's behavior. This is like the legend of the werewolf or that planets influence our lives. These are myths that have nothing to do with reality, although it can inspire the hearts of lovers and illuminate the landscape at night. Gravity is a force. We say that gravity is a force and it really isn't, although it does behave as such. In Newtonian physics, it is known this way because it exerts an attractive force of all bodies towards the center, so that on Earth, this acceleration is measured at 32.2 feet per second squared. Albert Einstein showed that it was an illusion caused by the geometry of space-time. Mass is what deforms space-time and causes the space in which bodies are to deform, and for that reason, attracts bodies. The Big Bang was an explosion. Another big misconception that confuses us, even among some scientists, is the Big Bang. The universe did not begin as a big explosion that scattered matter in all directions. It was an expansion of space from a subatomic particle. Interestingly, the name was proposed by the priest and astronomer Georges Lemaitre and was passed on by various cosmologists to this day. Mars is red. Another myth is that Mars is red, and in fact it is also called the Red Planet, when in reality its colors are ochre and sometimes with orange or reddish hues. NASA has also contributed to fueling the myth by coloring some photographs of Mars more than normal. Over time, we have discovered that neither the sky nor the surface of Mars is entirely red. The Milky Way Another confusing name is that of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Our galaxy is not milky. Its name comes from Latin, meaning milk road originating from Greek mythology that came from the breast of the goddess Hera. Our galaxy is not made of milk, although it does have a lot of gas, dust, and plasma. In addition, astronomers have discovered inside it a gigantic methanol cloud of at least 248 trillion miles. In any case, it would be the alcoholic way. The universe is black. Although they say the universe is black, it isn't. Some scientists at Johns Hopkins University studied the colors emitted by more than 200,000 galaxies and concluded that the dominant color of all the lights of objects in the universe is beige, very similar to coffee with milk. The asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is often depicted this way, and in many science fiction movies, the objects are also very close together. This is a mistake. Space is so vast that finding such a quantity of objects at that distance is practically impossible. In the asteroid belt, there are about a million objects, and the average separation between each of them is 3.1 million miles. That's 13 times the distance from Earth to the Moon. A tiny distance in astronomical terms, but immense if we want to navigate in a spacecraft. Black holes suck in matter. Black holes are usually depicted as large mass vacuums. The truth is that they are astronomical objects of very large mass in a reduced space, but they behave like any other following the laws of gravity. For example, a planet approaching a black hole will have a relative velocity since nothing is at rest, and added to the attraction of the black hole, it will tend to orbit it. That's why there are black holes that are surrounded by a halo of matter around them. In the case that the object has a collision trajectory, it can indeed be sucked in by the black hole. A nuclear weapon could destroy an asteroid. In movies, superheroes are depicted launching nuclear weapons at a dangerous asteroid, and that's the end of the story. A nuclear weapon would not vaporize an asteroid several kilometers in size. What it would do is break off a small part, and those pieces would also have a collision trajectory with Earth. Our current methods are mosquito bites on large objects, 
Experts suggest that detonating bombs at key points could slightly push the asteroid out of its orbit by expelling gases. Jupiter orbits around the Sun. Another myth is that Jupiter is thought to orbit the Sun just like the other planets, but Jupiter has so much mass that the center of gravity between the planet and the Sun is beyond the surface of our star. So both the Sun and Jupiter orbit a common center of gravity. Climate change is a lie. Many deniers try to make us believe that climate change is a lie. Sadly, science has shown that human activities are warming the planet more than normal. Since the Industrial Revolution, the world has adapted for almost two centuries to fossil fuels, and now we are in the transition to renewable energies that will lead us to a society with cleaner and more efficient energies and to protect our planet. The pyramids were created by aliens. This is the product of excessive ignorance that undervalues human capabilities. The problem is that we have become so accustomed to technology that we believe living without it makes us useless. The ancients used more artisanal and much slower methods, but very effective for building monuments. One of the methods was to moisten the sand so that the sleds with the blocks would slide better over the terrain. Many ancient techniques have been lost in time. Our ancestors were as intelligent as or more intelligent than we are. Our goal as a species is the search for truth and knowledge. We need to progress to a wiser society and discard old myths. The truth, sooner or later, comes to light.